Hi, Professor Friedman here, and today we are going to talk about production possibility frontiers and productivity change. What happens in a production possibility frontier when you become able to produce more of one or both of the products, or perhaps produce less? Again, you have a farm. You have a certain amount of land. On that land, you can grow roses, or you can grow poppies. Grow roses because they're beautiful and your girlfriends love them. Poppies because you want to get stoned out of your mind. Or maybe sell it to other people to get stoned out of their minds. Whatever. You have a certain amount of land that you allocate to roses, a certain amount to poppies, the more land you have for roses, push this line over, more roses. And here are poppies, fewer poppies. More land for roses, fewer poppies. So is represented with the production possibility frontier, which will look something like this. Here's roses, here's poppies. The more you use uh, your land to grow one of them, the less you have to grow the other. So if all your land is in roses, you're there, lots of roses, no poppies. All your land is in poppies, you're over there. The price of poppies is the number of roses forsaken, the number of roses that you don't have anymore. The price of roses, the poppies not grown. You know, the way I drew this, you have two roses for every poppy. So, the price of a poppy is two roses. The price of a rose is half a poppy. You can't be out here? No, not possible because you don't have enough land. You won't be in here? Won't because why would you waste your resources? You could have more of both. What happens when you have more resources? Here's land, here's more land, here's still more land. You get more of everything. More resources, more stuff. Go in the other direction. Fewer resources, less stuff. The less you have, the fewer roses and poppies you can have grow. The more, if I can turn this around, yeah. The more you have, the more roses and poppies you can grow. Note, the way I drew this, these are parallel lines, just more land for both of them. The price doesn't change, because the price of roses is the poppies. The price of poppies is the roses. And the trade-off remains the same, the way I drew this. Doesn't way. Better technology works the same way. Here's your old technology where you do everything by hand and you're stupid. Here's a better technology where you have some tools and you're a little more clever. Here's an even better technology where you've got a really smart way to grow these things. Again, the technology, technical changes that I've drawn here are the same for both. So there's no change in relative prices. Doesn't have to be that way. It just happens that that's how I drew it. Here we have a technology that helps only one crop grow. I call this the pro-roses technology. This technology increases the number of roses that you can grow on the land, but it does, has no change in the number of poppies. You can still, if you use all your land, you'll still have only nine poppies, but you will have 18 roses instead of nine. The price of roses falls because you've got, you can produce so many more. Whereas poppies are now the scarce commodity. Could go in the other direction. Climate change or something else. You may run out of water, you may, I don't know, may have bugs that infest your roses and all of a sudden you can't have roses anymore. Valentine's Day sucks! Your girlfriend thinks you don't love her because you're not giving her roses anymore because they've become so expensive. You show up with poppies and she's like, what do I want these? I'm not a drug addict. What do you think? Who do you think I am? And she throws 
a frying pan at you. Did I mention my mother once did that? She threw a frying pan at my father. Um, I wasn't there. Family legend. Okay, that's Production Possibility Frontiers with technological change or changes in resource inputs. Thank you. Have a good day.